What's up, guys? You're Tech Matt. So you've seen the headline, the uh, title, whatever you want to say. This is going to be the Mothership Toolbox Tour. Now it is a 54-inch Snap-on Master Series XL, I do believe. Extra large, whatever that may mean. I think the difference is the uh, normal Snap-on Master Series is only 20, 25 inches deep. Something like that. This is 29 29 and a quarter, something like that. They call it 30 inches deep, but they call it 54 by 30, but really when you open the drawer and you measure the inside to uh, up under this lip here on the front of the drawer, the drawer face, should I say, it's like 29 and a quarter, something like that. So here it is, my Snap-on 54-inch Master Series XL. It is storm gray with black trim. It's got a really nice work top on it. It came like this. I would rather have the uh, bed liner because I have LED shop lights on the roof. So when you're working over it, or I have something small up here being worked on that I have lights on, you see it. It gets pretty uh, glary up here. Here nor there, you're here to see what's in it. So let's dive on in. Stay Alrighty, what's up guys? Your Tech Matt. Thanks for stopping in and joining us. So, you're obviously here because you've seen the title or the headline. This is the Mothership Toolbox Tour. I'm not sure if that's going to be the title, but yeah. Here nor there, we're going to dive right on into it, guys. Somehow, someway, I was lucky enough to get the whole top layout primarily in one, uh, one picture shoot right here. So, bear with me. Um, we'll try and bring you in closer to show you anything else. But for now, follow along if you can. This is the money drawer, as most would say. The socket drawer, the money maker, the, you know, whatever. To me, it's, uh, it's a top drawer. <laughs> the socket drawer, I guess. Back left, you got all the way to back left. <clears throat> Excuse me. These are the ever so old crescent. Starting at 7 8 which this one's been used, but not a lot. And I think it goes all up to two and a half or two and a quarter. Two inch. And we uh, we do use these primarily. This is more for the equipment, obviously. But there they are. Crescent, standard 12 points. Uh, 7 8 up to two inch. Back right, I have a 40 inch uh, adjustable, easy red three quarter inch breaker bar. Or ratchet, you can use it as a breaker bar, I guess. Either uh, either way, here or there. Great dynamic duo. This set did come with a, I think a 24 inch ratchet. No peeking. This is for a later tour. Yeah, it came with like a 24 inch breaker bar and then a 24 inch ratchet, which. The ratchet works, and it's got some of the craziest sounding teeth in it I've ever heard for a ratchet, especially compared to uh, the Easy Red three quarter inch ratchet right there. But anywho, then you got oh I forget what that is, ink inch and a quarter. You got my Snap on twelve point deep uh, standard sockets. That was what seven sixteenths, you know half inch. Half inch, I believe one up to one and a quarter. That was why I got the set. One and a quarter. I use one and a quarter for uh, servicing our jacks and our lifting equipment because a lot of the stuff that holds them together is massive. Um, a while ago, I had tried putting some paint on the one three sixteenths just because I use that one as well for a service. It kind of worked. 
the other layout I had, it was, they were setting up. So it was easier to see. And then I got hooked up with uh, Michael from Alien Space Savers, as you see here. We are a yeah, tool affiliate for Alien Space Savers. There is a link down here below. So if you're interested, please, guys, shop through the link. It don't help us out a lot, but it helps us out, and it gets the word out there for a wonderful small business. And as a small business owner myself, I am all for supporting small businesses, as you can see. I love Alien Space Savers. They're uh, universal. Really stiff, solid socket trays, wrench trays, racket trays, whatever you want to do. I mean, they hold everything. These are just spare socket trays. And, you know, you see how well they're working for organizing my picks. The beverage, uh, beverage opener. The stress stick lighter. Everything. You see, they work. They're just fully customizable, 110% adjustable. Does whatever you need them to do, want them to do, etc. Alien Space Savers, guys, go check them out. They're wicked cool. Back to the socket cell. Funny story is when I got these, uh, I got these sets together on a promo. <laughs> and it was to buy the deep, get the shallow free. Well, when I bought the deep, I was not looking at the side. Of, well, I was looking at the side of the box when I got them. So, all right, standard, deep and shallow, cool. Well, I ended up with 12 point, and it came with a 6 point set of shallows. And they don't even match up, as you see, but whatever. Till we get that set filled in, we'll probably be five hundred dollars in a negative. <laughs> but that really bugs me. I'm a, I don't know. I guess that's OCD, but that's a. I don't like that. Still, still waiting for those two sockets there to fill that in. I think it was a seven sixteenths and a three eighths. I'm not sure. Then Miriab three eighths. I don't know why you need a three eighths and a half inch drive. It's the last never used. All the way up to like a three quarter, I think. Maybe a one inch. Wow, oh, look at that. One inch. So, here and over there, I got some standard sockets. And they work, so they're here. Right below it, you got the cronies. I think that was quarter inch up to seven eighths. Yep. Quarter inch up to seven eighths for the deeps, and the shallow is again quarter inch to seven eighths. But you see the difference, folks. If you know what the difference is between these two sockets, put it in the comments below. We will go over that here in a little bit when I come back to it. Until then, I want to see the comments. Let me know. Why is the collar on this socket look so funny? Why is this one smooth? This one's got a collar. You let me know, folks. And if you don't know, make sure you hit that red like, subscribe button and bell. Go down below and check out my video on flank drive and flank drive plus sockets from snap -on. Right below, you got the all famous, well, we're throwing tools. We got the all famous quarter inch. It was like a whopping little three sixteenths up to uh nine sixteenths. I do not use these a lot anymore at the other shop working for my grandpa, the other family business. I did use them when I first started wrenching because he has a lot of older vehicles and antiques, if you would. So they work perfect. I did not have quarter inch impacts. So I got standard, metric, deep and shallow from Case I'm In. I will put a link below for these, y'all. Really nice socket set on Amazon. It is not break the bank. And they do work. They do work great. That was 3.30 seconds, or 5.30 seconds. Yeah, up to 9 sixteenths. All the sockets work great, deep and shallow. I've used a bunch of them, and you know they don't vibrate and hop and flop like you think they would for cheap Chinese sockets, but they work great. So here or there, they're here. This is your all famous Snap-on replicas. Icon half inch drive, standard. You could call them hex. 
We call them Allens. That was three eighths up to a three quarters. We use these primarily on the equipment. Once again, nothing fancy, but they're there and they work. I know. There's two more in this set. We got quarter inch yet. Not sure why you need a half inch drive for a quarter inch, but apparently we did a few times and used it. Yeah, so quarter inch to three quarters. That sounds better. Right beside it is some really old Matco sockets. Not sure if these are American made or not. Maybe one of y'all would know better than me. This is a really wicked old set, as you see. It was, I think, 15 sixteenths. Yeah, 15 sixteenths to uh, one and a quarter. It was only like four sizes here. Yeah. So you got them stamped like that. Those stamped like that. Thought one of them was stamped upside down. That was the reason for keeping the cat or the set. Maybe not. Anywho, they work. I got all these for 40 bucks. Pretty much paid 10 bucks a piece for them. Shipped. Um, they were in a lot better condition than they are now, of course. But being as that is all kind of pitted, mainly surface pitting, I think I could refinish them and bring them back to life, but I'm not sure. That was the ultimate goal when I got them, but here nor there, they work for the, the tractors and the farm trucks here perfectly. Right below, you got... Cummins engine bearing socket, a socket I had to make. I believe this was a wheel lock socket for uh, Mazda. I'll put a link below for this guys. This is Lyle from Amazon. This is your stud, or what you would use to pull studs through when replacing studs in somebody's wheel hub. Simply uh, drop a little Couple drops of oil right down in there. You can see them bearings. Couple drops of oil. Spin it a few times. Or maybe you put the oil in on this side. I don't remember, to be honest with you. It doesn't matter. You just spray the whole damn thing with oil and it works great too. Stick it on your stud. Put your uh, lock nut or lug nut, which I believe oh, you can't see. Yeah, they're sitting up on top of the box right now. So I was getting ready to use this. But I'll drop a link below for that. It's an Amazon find. Just an old fuel adapter from a Ford. I still use every now and then for testing. As you've seen, the grab and go torch. Some pocket uh, pry bars from Snap One are right there. The beverage opener, which was a gift from the Madre. I don't use it, but it's there. Not sure if you can see in the back corner or not, so we'll bring it out. You got my All Famous, which you will see in the further tour if you like and subscribe. The rest of the set, I think it's a 13 or 15 piece Mac Tools uh, spark plug socket set. Comes literally with everything, your 14s. 14 tall point, and then your regular six point swivel, 14 millimeter. And then for those bugging Subarus, y'all know what I'm talking about. There's that. Oxygen sensor, oxygen sensor wrench. Well, oxygen sensor socket, should I say. And then the wrench. Gap tool from Snap-on. You got your inches and your millimeters. And then just a super long, I think it was 9 sixteenths or 5 eighths. Really handy for Fords. And then, in the all-famous Snap-on foam. Of course, we've all got to have the cool foam, right? Um, here we have astronaut sockets. They are the all-famous Caseman, guys. You know, I, I rep it a lot on here. It's a really cheap Chinese brand, and they really hold up. Equipment, astronaut sockets, it don't matter. I've used all of them for it, and they all work. They all work great, and they they hold up great. Don't look no worse than a snap-on socket. That's a American-made, 
But, uh, yeah. If I can find it, I'll put a link for that below, guys. And that's why we're doing so many parts of this toolbox tour. Is because I'm going to try and share with you little secrets I have of getting the right tool. Or I guess a spare tool, spare set of tools, whatever. That's going to work, but not break the bank. That's what I'm here to do. I may have broke the bank a few times on certain things, but it pays for itself. It is not DIY. This is DIY level, but it works on a professional level as well. Like here you got power built, 90 tooth ratchet. Works great. I've been using it on a brake and suspension jobs and I have nothing bad to say about that 90 tooth ratchet. The only bad thing I have to say about this whole set in general is the fact that they do this to you. It's a pretty common size, folks. Pretty common size. 13. It's a quarter inch. Hop over here to my 14. It's 3 eighths. So, I mean, two are common. They did give you a 3 eighths, a quarter inch adapter, reducer, whatever. But it's a little gimmicky. I'd rather just have a quarter inch and a 3 eighths set. It'd be easier. You will find a link in the description below for that. It is a wonderful Amazon find. As well as the case I'm in, of course, which are 29 millimeter all the way up to 38, as you've seen. I have a spare 35 that is a snap-on. I got for a cheap, or I got for cheap at a swap meet. 36, I think it was 32, and then the one I use all the time, the 30 millimeter Maco ADV sockets, I think that's what they are. Not sure, not a Maco fan, but I got them for really cheap, so there they are. Then you, get, I think I got these for free, guys. Don't judge me. I think I got them for free. 3 8 set of, uh, well, 3 8 and half inch set of Pittsburgh metric Allens. Then you have, once again, the all famous Icon. Half inch drive. This is 6 all the way to 19. Now we're breaking everything with this 5 pound socket. And then we needed it a few times. Shows no signs of wear whatsoever. That is the Mac Tools RBRT 19mm. Here, as you've seen it, you got uh, some lights up front just hanging around, being thrown around. You got the Power Built Xeon socket set. Maybe I won't have to put a link in the description below for you guys since I still have this here for my uh, review of it. There it is. That is everything you need to know. There is not going to be a link in the description because this is your link right here, guys. Power built 28 piece Xeon Master non slip socket set. That's all you need to look up, and you'll see that right on Amazon. That set right there. Comes with a really cool little plastic tray on it. It had a screw here and a screw here just to hold it down, little screws, but. If you guys are familiar with Mac, this is a replica of the Mac Precision Torque Sockets. With the teeth on the inside of the socket. This 19 up against a Snap-on or any other typical 19mm socket. This one is going to bite fast and it will have absolutely no wiggle room where your normal socket will have, you'll feel just a little bit of wiggle jiggle room there on that fastener. You won't find that with these. Really love using them on brake and suspension jobs. Or, uh, they bite fast through all the brake dust and everything. They're handy to have. So y'all go check them out. There won't be a link below for that. It will be for everything else. But that, you've seen it just like it is, guys. Really nice set to have. US Pro. These are half-inch drive. T55, the T100. We used a few of them a few times. This is a United Kingdom socket set. One of the very first sets of impact grade torques I've had and e-torques. 
really old. There it is again, guys. You don't need to look below because right there it is. Case them in 25 piece Torx and external socket set. You can find them on Amazon. I don't know if you can find US Pro on Amazon or not. I honestly forget where I got them, but here nor there. I guess we'll shoot up to the back. You got, I think it was a four piece icon adapter reducer set. Really nice set to have. It works for everything I need it to. Some of us hate them, some of us like them. And when you get hit with a 3 8 socket that's 19 millimeters on a 3 8 ball detent, this is pin. This is a pin detent, it locks into your socket, guys. There is no fooling around when it's on there, like, you know, your 3 8 with the ball detent, it can come flying off at any point. You have to uh, go over here and get one of these, and there you go. That socket was just locked on there, and it was not coming off until I took it off. And that's 27 millimeter. There you go, half on, uh, yeah, half inch drive, pinned, universal adapter or universal swiper from Snap-on. And don't mind uh, silica gel packets, guys. We do get some moisture in the garage, so better to try and prevent it when it when we can, rather than just taking it on. Snap on triple squares. 12, 14, 16, and 18. I keep them up here on hand just because they're commonly used more than your 8, 10, 12s, whatever 6, 8, 10s are. 10 all the way to 27 millimeters. Snap on. Let's move you over here just a hair. Yeah, that's a lot better. But you see, 10 27 millimeter, that's all snap on. Um, I got deep and shallow. That's the very first set of uh, sockets I got from Snap On, actually. Pretty sure that's the very first set of sockets. They get used and abused. I think I've had to return to 17 and 19 once just because they almost get rounded out as I do a lot of European vehicles. I mean, a lot of European vehicles, so. I think they were replaced once or twice. Right in front of it, half inch drive, it was 10 to 24 millimeter. The Astro Drive low profile sockets. Work great, handy to have. If you don't have a 22 millimeter ratcheting wrench, any 22 millimeter wrench or any 22 millimeter socket will fit over the back of them and ultimately be the same thing as your super long extended wrench that they have for the uh, Three quarter inch set. It's a 17 millimeter and 18 inch long box wrench. Just uh, spare parts for the wife's car, some gaskets. Move this out of the way. That is for a further review from our good friends over at Grip Edge Tools. Right in front of it, you got Blue Point from Snap On. This was, I think, like a 10 or 3 8 all the way to 19 or 3 quarters, whatever they wanted to say. Yeah. That was your blue point turbo sockets, twist sockets, whatever. Right in front of it. Icon triple squares. Nothing bad to say about them. They have held up great. They work great. Yeah, there, there's nothing bad to say about them. This was an old Craftsman socket I had used and made something a farm tool hand well i am the farm hand but that's my farm hand when it comes to wrapping up all them freaking 25 and 35 foot uh two inch two and a quarter inch ratchet straps yeah that's your best friend just throw it on a three inch snap one impact put the end of the ratchet strap in there hold the other end with this hand so it's uh kind of flowing through your hand nice and smoothly hit the trigger and the impact and she just spins right up freely Obviously, you don't use the impacting feature, but then you can pop this right out of it, and it's spooled up tightly and nicely. Right in front of it, again, Caseman quarter-inch drive. This set was a whopping 4 millimeter all the way to, I think, 15. I think it was a fairly complete set. Yeah. 
four millimeter 15 it has four and a half and five and a half so it's a really nice set to have guys again amazon there's a link below for the set if i can find it i will put the link below for this brake caliper service set for european foreign domestic whatever really nice set to have gives you literally Literally gives you everything you need for all them newer and older vehicles. You see the spline drives. They've got it all, guys. All your random sizes here. Butterfly socket. If you know, you know. Volkswagen oil pans, etc. Really nice set. If I can find a link for that. It will be below. And then, yeah, don't bother my sketching here, guys. We do, uh, you can see some stuff over there. We do buy and sell pallets and tool returns. So if you haven't, follow us on eBay, on the commercial eBay store, which is at 3 Series Me. You can find me. Mac Tools 123 piece Mac Grip Ratcheting Screwdriver Set. It comes with everything. I threw a few modifications in here myself just for grabbing and going. But other than that, you can't beat the set. It's got everything I need in it. And the ratcheting screwdriver, which has metal internals versus plastic. This is just from one of my tool pallets. I decided to keep it for myself as well as a, a bunch of stuff you'll see. The lights, which you've seen. Everything. I mean, I guess we could break out the. Uh... Let's see if we can get your part number in there. Easy Red MR34 22A. I don't know if that means for adjustable or not, but. There you have it. Almost as wide as my toolbox drawer. Yeah. And that just sits back there up against the back of the box, like such. And there it is, guys. So if this was uh, any sort of interest to you, I guess, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. We will be doing a single tour for this drawer. The next drawer, uh, well, those two drawers will probably be one tour together. And then the whole bottom will be one or two drawers. Or one or two tours. But until then, y'all, like, subscribe, stay tuned. Like I said, we have 3 8 and half inch drive grip edge RPT hex sockets. You're not going to want to miss the uh, unboxing of these and the future reviews. So until then, y'all, really really help us out hit that like and subscribe button like i said my alien space savers affiliate link is below if you want your sockets to be cleaned up like that dressed up real nice you see it alien space savers guys check out my affiliate link below if my discount code is still active i will leave that posted up for you but without further ado until part two of this three or four part toolbox tour Yo, check that out.